Hello and welcome to uh, Microworks and today I want to do a short uh, video about image resolution. And I think um, most designers are very pretty good in the understanding of you know when it comes to image resolution but recently um, I've come across many people who still don't seem to understand why it's important and how to deal with it. So let's say you, you're about to render your final image out of Cinema 4D and you ask another member of your team how big the image should be at final size and they would always say high resolution 300 dpi so you might go to cinema 4d and maybe choose the uh, hd format and then specify that you want your image to be 300 dpi and then hit render so basically you have a uh, 1920 by 1080 image at 300 dpi right well that's actually wrong if you open your image in uh, say Photoshop and check the image size you'll notice that your render is still 72 dpi and not 300 so what just happened there basically um, whatever you see on screen can never exceed 72 dpi that's called a screen resolution so you only talk about dpi when you want to print your images so regardless of how many dpi you um, specify in cinema screen resolution remains screen resolution so you've just rendered your image in pixels and not in actual size so in order to specify a uh, dpi you need to actually give it a size so if you choose a uh, say a a3 paper size i'm telling cinema to render my image at a3 size and then i can specify what dpi i want my render to be based on that paper size so I can say 72 dpi, I can say 150 and I can say 300 and if you notice the uh, the actual pixel size down here it's not 1920 anymore it's actually way more than that so uh, that's how you determine uh, dpi and um, I want to point out that it's only for printing if you want to uh, present your work on screen it doesn't matter you know uh, whether it's 300 or 72 dpi because the screen resolution is 72 dpi and that's all you're going to get so um, there you go um, there was a quick tip on image resolution and I hope you found it useful and uh, see you next time